بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد This world is not a home to anyone From the very day that we are born we start our journey to the hereafter. We are completely weak and helpless when we are born and depend entirely on Allah for our survival. Then we keep growing stronger and stronger until we reach the peak of our strength. Our strength then begins to decline as we grow older in some instances to the point where we become as helpless as little children, not even able to recall the names of our own children. We are nothing but a number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds. It's no wonder every time we wake up, the first thing we want to know is, what time is it? Because we are time. Every time the sun sets, a part of us goes away. Each time the sun rises, our days in the world become fewer. Every second that ticks brings us closer to our graves. We may think we have a long way to go, but as long as the sun never stands still for one moment, we keep heading for our inevitable destiny and one day our days in the world shall come to an end. Some people lived several hundred years in the world, but if you had to ask them how long they lived, they would tell you it looked like one day, maybe less. The time that Allah has given us in this world is in order for us to prepare for the world to come. He has put our fate in our own hands, that we may choose either salvation or destruction. Our existence in this world and our obedience to the commandment of Allah are for our own benefit, firstly in this world and then in the world hereafter. Allah says in the Holy Quran, وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ And whosoever turns away from my reminder, verily for him is a life of hardship. There is absolutely nothing that Allah would lose even if the whole world chose not to obey him. We are here to prepare for the great day when Allah shall order the angel to blow into the trumpet and behold that we shall be gathered before the Lord of the worlds to account for whatever we did in the world, and our Lord is not unjust. The day when all things that decorate our lives today, from the mansions in which we live, to the great mountains that tower over us, shall disappear from the face of the earth, and each man shall face his Lord as an individual, and the only thing that will matter on that day is the righteous work we did in the world for the pleasure of our Creator. The day when you and I shall stand before our Lord, empty-handed, in our birthday suits, barefooted with no worldly possessions of any description. The day when Father shall not help Son. Allah describes the day of judgment in the Holy Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فإذا نفخ في الصور فلا أنساب بينهم يومئذ ولا يتساءلون Then, when the trumpet is blown, there will be no kinship among them that day, nor will they be asked of one another. فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ Then those whose scales of good deeds are heavy, these, they are successful. 
وَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَأُولَئِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ فِي جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدُونَ And those whose scales of good deeds are light, they are those who lose their own selves, in hell they will abide. تَلْفَحُوا جُوهَهُمُ النَّارُ وَهُمْ فِيهَا كَالِحُونَ the fire will burn their faces, and their rain they will grin with displaced lips. Were not my verses, the Holy Quran recited to you, and then you used to deny them? They will say, Our Lord, our wretchedness overcame us, and we were an erring people. Our Lord, bring us out of this. If we ever return to evil, then indeed we shall be the wrongdoers. He, Allah, will say, Remain there and speak not to me. Verily, there was a party of my slaves who used to say, Our Lord, we believe, so forgive us and have mercy on us, for you are the best of all those who show mercy. But you took them for a laughing stock, so much so that they made you forget my remembrance while you used to laugh at them. Verily, I've rewarded them this day for their patience. They are indeed the ones that are successful. He, Allah, will say, What number of years did you stay on earth? They will say, We stayed a day or a part of a day, ask those who keep account. He, Allah, will say, you stayed not but a little, if only you knew. Did you think that we had created you in play without any purpose, and that you would not be brought back to us? Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Because we shall be individuals on that day, and our parents will have no say over our final destination. It is only logical that we fight for our own salvation in this world by choosing the correct way to worship our Creator rather than inheriting the religions of our forefathers. Remember that those who worshipped idols worshipped them because that was the practice of their forefathers, but that is not an excuse before the Lord because he has given us the power to differentiate wrong from right. But in most cases, we have decided to close our eyes and ears to the truth. However, the truth stands out, and our conscience is our greatest judge. Our pride can only lead us to destruction. Rabbana innana sami'na munadiyan yunadi lil iman an aminu bi rabbikum fa'amanna. ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار Our Lord, verily we have heard 
the call of the one calling to faith, saying, Believe in your Lord, and we have believed. Our Lord, forgive us our sins, and expiate from us our evil deeds, and let us die in the state of righteousness with the pious believers. Let us not be fooled by our success in the world. To the extent of growing too big for our Creator, our success comes from Allah, and it is nothing but a trial. He wants us to be thankful for what He has granted us. If our status is high today, it is not entirely our doing but a favor from God. He says, وَهُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَكُمْ خَلَائِفَ الْأَرْضِ وَرَفَعَ بَعْضَكُمْ فَوْقَ بَعْضٍ دَرَجَاتٍ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ فِي مَا آتَاكُمْ And he has raised you in rank, some above others, that he may try you in that which he has bestowed on you. Because we have not realized that everything we are granted in the world is only a trial from our Lord, material success has become our reason for living and consequently, the source of our destruction. Nay, verily man is rebellious that he thinks himself independent. The richer we become, the more arrogant we grow. Only the poor in most cases may have any tolerance for the word of God. The rich have better things to keep them busy. Let us be mindful. We have inherited this world from men who are much stronger and wealthier than we are. But that did nothing to prolong their lives in this world. Allah in the Holy Quran sets forth the example of Qarun, an arrogant tycoon from the people of the Prophet Moses. This man would arrogantly declare in the presence of the people, إِنَّمَا أُوْتِيْتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ عِنْدِ أَوَلَمْ يَعْلَمْ أَنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ أَهْلَكَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ مِنَ الْقُرُونِ مَنْ هُوَ أَشَدُّ مِنْهُ قُوَّةِ وَأَكْثَرُ جَمْعًا He would say, What I have has been given to me because of the knowledge that I possess. Did he not know that Allah had destroyed before him generations, men who were greater than him in might and greater than him in the amount of riches they collected? We do not seem to be much different from Qarun today. We have misunderstood the whole purpose of this life. We have misunderstood the whole purpose of what Allah has granted us in the world. Every advantage Allah has given us in the world is our currency with which we buy everlasting life. If you are knowledgeable, your knowledge is your currency and your weapon by everlasting life. If you are wealthy, your wealth is your currency and your weapon by everlasting life. If you are physically strong, that is your currency and your weapon by everlasting life. All that we crave for in the world is bound to expire. Ironically, the expiry date is not known. The moment I die, as far as I'm concerned, my bank account has expired along with my business and everything else. يا أيها الذين آمنوا أنفقوا مما رزقناكم من قبل أن يأتي يوم لا بيع فيه ولا خلة ولا شفاعة. We who believe, spend of that which we have provided for you before a day comes when there will be no trade, no friendship, no reintegration. We all seem to have a great appetite for wealth. But the question is, are we sure we shall live long enough to finish what we already have? Only Allah knows. Thank you, Sheikh, for that reminder of our obligation to life. Sheikh, we have questions from our dear listeners. The first question is, according to the Quran, 
Did Jesus perform miracles? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Jesus performed several miracles according to the Holy Quran. I remember emphasizing in one of our early lectures that there are some miracles attributed to Jesus in the Holy Quran which may not even be found in the Bible. However, our faith in Jesus is not based on the miracles that he performed. We believe in him because of the true message he preached about the unity of the Creator and his power. In Islam, the authenticity of a prophet cannot be ascertained by miracles only. With or without miracles, we would have believed in Jesus. But just to answer your question, here is what the Quran says about Jesus and his miracles. Allah says in the Holy Quran, إِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبَشِّرُكِ بِكَلِمَةٍ مِّنْهُ اسْمُهُ الْمَسِيحُ عِيسَى بِنُ مَرْيَمُ وَجِيهًا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ وَمِنَ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ Remember when the angel said, O oh Mary, verily Allah gives you glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter and will be one of those who are near to Allah. وَيُكَلِّمُ النَّاسَ فِي الْمَهْدِ وَكَهْلَى وَمِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ He will speak to the people in the cradle and in manhood, and he will be one of the righteous. قَالَتْ رَبِّ أَنَّا يَكُونُ لِي وَلَدٌ وَلَمْ يَمْسَسْنِي بَشَرٌ قَالَ كَذَلِكِ اللَّهُ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءٌ إِذَا قَضَى أَمْرًا فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ She said, O oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? He said, So for Allah he creates what he wills. When he has decreed something, he says to it only, Be, and it is. In these chapters, we learn that Allah made Jesus, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, or he gave him the ability to speak when he was an infant, and that should be a miracle. In another part in the Holy Quran, Allah says, إِذْ قَالَ الْحَوَارِيُّونَ يَا عِيسَى بْنَ مَرْيَمْ هَلْ يَسْتَطِيعُ رَبُّكَ أَنْ يُنَزِّلَ عَلَيْنَا مَا إِدَةً مِّنَ السَّمَاءِ قَالَ اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Remember when the disciples said, O oh Jesus, son of Maryam, can your Lord send down to us a table spread with food from heaven? Jesus said, Fear Allah if you are indeed believers. They said, we wish to eat thereof and to satisfy our hearts, to be stronger in faith, and to know that you have indeed taught us the truth, and that we are ourselves its witnesses. قال عيسى بن مريم اللهم ربنا أنزل علينا مائدة من السماء تكون لنا عيدا لأولنا وآخرنا وآية منك وارزقنا وأنت خير الرازقين. Jesus said. O oh Allah, our Lord, send us from the heaven a table spread that there may be for us, for the first and the last of us, a festival and a sign from you, and provide us with sustenance, for you are the best of sustainers. قال الله إني منزلها عليكم فمن يكفر بعد منكم فإني أعذبه عذابا لا أعذبه أحدا من العالمين. Allah said, I am going to send it down to you. But if any of you after that disbelieves, then I will punish him with a torment such as I have not inflicted on anyone among the Alameen, meaning mankind and the jinn. There are several miracles that were performed by Jesus, but these are just examples from the Holy Quran. And the second question is, do you have baptism in Islam coming from Vines Mpola of Mumwa? If by baptism you mean immersing one in water in order to symbolize their acceptance of the Islamic faith, uh, we do not have that in Islam. The Prophet Yahya alayhi salatu wasalam, or John the Baptist may have used this symbol of the acceptance of his faith, but it does not follow that every prophet must do the same. I am sure you will agree with me when you consider 
Moses, Abraham, and many other prophets. To show acceptance of faith in Islam, one reads out the slogan of faith loudly, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allahu wahdahu la sharika lahu wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. No one must be worshipped but Allah, and I declare that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a messenger of Allah. The third question is, why do Muslims pray five times a day? Why not keep it simple like everyone else and pray perhaps once a week? Praying five times a day is a way of keeping constant remembrance of our Creator. We get carried away by our business sometimes to the extent of forgetting the purpose of our existence. But each time we perform these ritual prayers, we get to remember our Lord and find peace at heart. It is also a form of purification because we keep sinning with or without our realization. And each time we turn to our Lord, it becomes a form of expiation. It is also worth mentioning that five times prayer is a form of discipline in obedience and time keeping. And both these elements are vital to life. All right. Another question is, why don't Muslims allow their daughters to get married to non-Muslims? Well, uh, this is a question that can be posed both ways, you know. I mean, Muslims may well ask the same question. However, the reason is uh, very obvious. The man is the head of the house. Naturally, his family will follow his footsteps in most cases, mm -hmm. in matters such as religious affiliation. If the husband is a non-Muslim, then the wife may also become a non-Muslim in the long run. Okay. And Sarafina Nyerenda of uh, Chikando Basic School in Jipata says she's 25 years old and has never seen the Holy Quran and would like if you, if you can send her one and some English literature. Uh, Sarafina, you're not alone. There are several people like you in this country and it is not your fault. The fault is ours. We have not done what we are supposed to do. Allah has commanded us to propagate this religion, but we have done very little to propagate it. Thank you for reminding us, and we'll send you a copy of the Holy Quran in English, and also some Islamic literature in English. Thank you. Okay. And uh, Brother Soko, Keith Soko of Lusaka, you remember him, says um, he wants to join Islam, but he doesn't know how. Would you please help? Sure. Uh, I was just talking about baptism a few uh, minutes ago. In Islam, how we baptize or how we embrace Islam is by declaring the word of faith. The declaration of faith that symbolizes that one has moved from the state of, you know, being a non-believer to being a Muslim. Uh, Brother Keith Soko, if you are listening to this program, please say this after me. Not only Brother Keith, also, anyone else who might want to embrace Islam and they do not know how to do it, this is how we embrace Islam. Please say after me, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallahu wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu. These words mean, I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except the one true God, Allah. And I declare that Muhammad وسلم, is simply a messenger of Allah. And uh, we will be in touch with you to give you more information about Islam and everything that you need. Thank you very much, Sheikh. Uh, Brother Musa of Solezi, thank you for your support. May Allah bless you. Well, listeners, that's it for today. But please remember to join us next week at the same time. And for questions, please remember to call the following numbers. 0977 57 60 24 0977 57 60 24 or 0977 65 11 20 or you can email kaptula at yahoo.com that's kaptula k-a-p-u-t-u-l-a at yahoo.com
Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله